Hey kids, Princess here. Hi. How's it going? I'm good. Um, Princess is excited today. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Um, Princess got good news. I got good news. Um, today, I think we're going to talk about new beginnings. Um, because, look, I've got flowers, and it's kind of like, it feels like spring. I know, for those of you who don't live here, <laughs> it must suck. But here, <laughs> it's like springtime. <laughs> the sun is out. It's nice. I'm out in, like, nothing. <laughs> High heels and <laughs> lingerie um, on my porch. And it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. That's how lazy princess is. <laughs> Having some coffee on a Saturday. Cheers. Hi. Um, so, what's the good news, princess, you may ask? <laughs> um, so, new beginnings. So, I don't know if you kids know princess <laughs> went through bankruptcy or is going through bankruptcy. Um, princess used to have a very wealthy kingdom, <laughs> but, um, the kingdom's, um, finances collapsed, <laughs> and that collapse kind of coincided with, um, my decision to become a woman, and... So a lot was going on, and I kind of hit the bottom. I lost one of my properties, um, and this property went into foreclosure, and um, they were threatening to take this. And all the banks tricked me, as they did a lot of people. There's all sorts of lawsuits against them. Encouraging you to stop paying your mortgage so that they could help you with the loan modification because they denied you the first loan modification. Anyway, kids. Um, so then once you don't pay, they send out a foreclosure notice. <laughs> but this is a lesson in bankruptcy, probably a tranny tips. Um, so kids, the thing with bankruptcy is, at that point, the end of my marriage, and I was so underwater with debt, um, credit cards, I had great credit, I had like a 7-4, um, and 740, and owned houses and trucks and all these things I owned, <laughs> and debt, lots of debt, um, two houses, and it was no longer sustainable, the houses, because of the economy, were underwater, meaning that I owed more on them than they were, than I could than they were worth, basically, to me. Um, it wasn't worth paying on. The one, this one, the property's valuable, and it's in the university area, so I, and I have to live in it, and it's cute. So the other one was cute, too. But um, I saved this one. But today's discussion and New Beginnings is about how I saved it. Um, I saved it by going into bankruptcy. Um... The economy collapsed, of course, and I lost my work. I was a electrician and a home remodeler. Um, and so that kind of fell apart. And then once I became Sierra, I didn't, I don't want to do that work anymore. Toting tools around and high heels isn't really where I'm at. <laughs> and dressing appropriately for the job site isn't really where I'm at. And my nails, not so much my thing. So, Princess. Um, went through a hard economic period there where didn't know what to do with myself and or um, how to make money and all sorts of things. So we went into bankruptcy to save the house. Luckily my mom um, stepped up and gave me some money. Um, but I owed tens of thousands of dollars. And um, through bankruptcy I was able to alleviate all that debt and consolidate my home and my car loan into one payment. And I've been paying that payment on a contracted um, time frame 
in order to um, maintain them, to keep them, and eventually pay them off. So, yay! That's what I've been up to. Um, I went and saw a lawyer here in town, Tucson, C.R. Hyde. Good man, redhead. Um, nice man. He's great with the gay community. Um, totally open to it. He advertises in the Observer. Um, he's a bankruptcy lawyer. Probably other type of lawyer too, but bankruptcy. And um, in my case, so f he did it for you know a couple thousand dollars, a little over a couple thousand dollars or more, depending on your case. Well, in my case, a Chapter Thirteen bankruptcy, I believe. Um, I was able to get rid of all that other debt. You know, my credit was already disaster because of the. Um, foreclosure. So my 7-4, and they couldn't prove it because my income has always been, I'm self-employed, so it's always been clean, you know, you have to be able to, they, um, you can't extrapolate based on your employer's future, I don't know, whatever, they just don't trust it as much, so blah, 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 blah. For a few thousand dollars, a couple thousand dollars, I was able to get tens of thousands of dollars removed, get my home loan and my truck loan, my beautiful Toyota 4Runner over here, um, an 07 4Runner, beautiful, like only 40,000 miles on it, but it's expensive, and I was paying $350 a month for it, plus insurance, you know, um, so we got that down, we got it all consolidated into one payment that is affordable for me. And we put it on like a five-year program. I've been paying it for a year. I got four more years to go, and it'll all be paid off, uh, the car. And the house almost will we'll be getting there. And then it'll go back to them to the original mortgage price. But anyway, kids, that's bankruptcy. Um, today, what I discussed with my, my um, bankruptcy lawyer, CR. I call him CR. He calls me man. <laughs> hey man <laughs> I'm like I'm a girl legally you know now he's like oh man I call my daughter man I call everybody man I'm like okay man <laughs> um, and then I sent him a cute picture I'm like you know I look good now I'm a girl <laughs> so he's really cute but he got me out of a lot of trouble, and it was a really tough time in my life with the bankruptcy and the stress of thinking I was going to lose this home um, and my credit and everything uh, and my truck. So for him to be able to consolidate those, those payments into something that I could afford and to, you know, help me through the legal hurdles, he and his um, office um, assistant, his awesome, I mean, she's like, backbone, <laughs> um, Caroline, um, really did me a big favor, and especially because I was losing it in cuckoo land, and Caroline was like, okay, let me hold your hand, and will you just sit here, and I'll fill out all the information, and ask you some questions, just bring some paperwork, and I was like, thanks, because I was having a hard time, and um, they helped me through it. And today he said, yes, everything's great. He's like, you've been paying your mortgage. You've been paying your payments. You've been staying up to, with your contract. We're going to, instead of going for a loan modification, um, which they're not going to give me anyway because I can't prove my, um, they wouldn't give it to me when I had good credit. But now I don't even have that kind of income. So I'm not going to go for that. But what I'm going to do is pay off the arrears. <laughs> arrears? Um mine's natural so I don't have to pay for that but the arrears that I owed them when they told me to stop paying my mortgage I didn't pay it and then so I gotta pay that back but over four years so it's all gonna work out so we're gonna rearrange the contract I'm gonna pay what I owe which is like $5,500 in back payments over the next four years so add it to my current payment um it's only gonna be like another $100 um, so that's great, and then in four years I'll be all done. 
And that's, and he says that'll be perfect, and I'm sure it'll work, and the bankruptcy court will accept it, and it'll be fantastic. So, yay! I'm excited, kids. New beginnings. Um, as I told him, I'm starting to get my act together and um, kind of crawl out of the haze. Um, but I'm excited. So, I wanted to let you know that that's going on. And besides that, as far as new beginnings are concerned, um, 